winners of the BAL finals takes us to another level as the second quarterfinal matchup of season four brings together two teams from North and the South of this sublime continent. Top seeds Fuster Abad, who on their debut turned heads and thrilled. The masses will take on the eighth seeded Cape Town Tigers, who continue to fight like felines as they hunt a place. And the starting five for Fuster Abad don't change a winning team. You don't change a winning team, you go with the tried and the tested, and they've got an experienced backcourt. And John Jordan, 16 points a game, 4.4 uh, rebounds, 4.6 assists, and he just knows what he's doing. And when you have a look at that man, Ali Udiara, alongside the experience of Abdel Hakim Zuita, it's going to be a fascinating battle indeed. And the starting five for the Cape Town Tigers, who lost uh, in their in their seeding game. They, they didn't lose, but Dio Deng, 21 points. He was one of the bright sparks in that loss. Kadi Udiara will shore up the backcourt. Tamkelo Tele, alongside the front court pairing of Abdullah Ndoy, alongside Nkosana Di Sibanyoni. North Africa faces South Africa as Booster about and the Cape Town Tigers rumble in Rwanda. It's quarterfinal time here in Kigali, the second of the day. But Kim Brown almost thought that he had that the ball spun out and uh, he doesn't get the start that he wants. Well, that's a, a charge through there coming from Sam Kello. The, the lid was closed in and he was uh, taken out. There's a foul that's been committed. Look at that. It is going to go on to that man. Abdel Hakim Zuita. Uh, he tries to go in between the trees on the first touch of the basketball. I've already talked about being aware of being aggressive with ball in hand, and that's the sign that you, you understand that he's going to be attacking the rim from work goal. Good from the free throw line as well. Always very uh, sharp and slick as we, uh, of course, see the, the coaches uh, for these uh, two teams. Very uh, experienced coaches and uh, they know a lot about uh, the BAL basically. They, they know a lot about African basketball in general too. Master technicians who will be going at it. Zayed El Bouzidi. So first points going for the Tigers. There's a charge coming through. Oh, it's a little bit short. And picked up by Cartier Diara. That's the second time we've seen the blow and layup uncontested. Well, Adoy trying to get a a two, but it's uh, not gone in. Flung out wide. Well, it's picked up Zuita. Out to Jordan. Jordan down into the corner. Well, picked up by the ever dangerous Muhi. Well, Diara going over the chop. A little bit too far. Sam Kello. He goes home alone. That is just all oh, with a little tip in. Near the end, but the good work there coming from that man, Sibagnoni. I was about to say, there's a little in the rim for both teams <laughs> as that comes out, but Sibagnoni cleans up the board, man. It's his first two. Asha Kumagisha is on the side of the line. Asha, um, this is going to be interesting. How the uh, Tigers have been in this place before they played in, you know, in the quarterfinals. It's the first time for Fuster are back. Can they lean on that experience, do you think? Yeah, of course. Uh, they don't have experience, Fuster are back, but they have players that have experience competing at uh, the continental level. You have Aliu Diara, defensive player of the year here at the BAL from Mali. And, of course, uh, a couple of players, Zuita and Sofian, that have won with Morocco the, at the FIBA African last year in Angola. So that experience is going to be very key for them here today against this Fusrabat team. Thank you so much, Asha. And, uh, Brian Pitchford is uh, receiving some attention on the sideline. I'm sure we'll see him a little bit later on. He's going to have to play a big role against Ali Diara inside the paint and the other Bigs from Chris Rabat. Ali Tiara, of course, uh, providing Stad Malia with some wonderful basketball last year. In the BAL, gets uh, two points from the free throw line. Picked up Sivagnoni into the hands of Cartier Tiara up against Ken Brown. Ken Brown hustling and hustling. Let's see how well they manage the floor here, the Tigers. Sivagnoni going through, trying to wriggle. Oh, he does well, a little bit too hard. That's gone out of bounds. It's going to be the Tigers who pick up possession once again. I guess that's good signs here from the Cape Town Tigers if you're watching in. If they, they are being ultra-aggressive the first couple of possessions. They are trying to attack in isolation situations, and we've seen it result in some positive outcomes. Nicely done, Sam Kello goes up. He's uh, 
And Tiara gets it back. Tank. Sam Kello, shot clock. He's been pushed back. That's nicely done. And Doi flings it out. Cartier Tiara for three. Rebound picks up by Sibanioli, just loses possession, and there is a touch there by Jordan, fortunate to get the ball back. Again, inside, you won't see that too often, and in terms of Sibanioli out rebounding the area, that was a great offensive rebound, but they keep possession alive. Gets the ball again, it's a two-point, oh, nicely done, drops it in, Skyfall, and a 6-2 lead for the Tigers. A wide open shot of that execution, that's a nice make, and it might give him some confidence there, Tele. Bridge fourth getting a little bit of a massage and uh, treatment on that thigh. He seems to be back in his seat, all good. And uh, Louis drops it into that man, Diara. Oh, that's nicely done. Put it in. Make it down. Smash it down. Sweeter with the dunk. Wow. Excellence in execution. That's just great. Four points to six. Interesting start, Katia Diara, Doi, big guy on this uh, court, of course, drops it into the paint, an opportunity here, Sibanioli, that is beautifully, the way that he just swiveled around Suita gives you a good idea that there's going to be a nice little battle in the paint there. And, and this is the third time they're playing each other, these players do know each other, so, you know, we're seeing signs of that early in this contest. Suita, Suita, Twix, oh, Diara this time with a dunk, that is just massive. He is supremely athletic, Ali Udiara. You, you did almost stratospheric as he catches it up top there, brings it down. Tasha, did you feel the tremors the other side of the table? <laughs> you definitely feel that with Ali Udiara on every move inside the paint. Wow. Definitely has the wow factor offensively. Mr. Abad, of course, uh, beating Alali of Egypt. In the uh, seeding game, Nui goes up, it's just a little bit too... Well, Sibanioli doing well to out-wrestle Diara on that occasion. He is doing a great job on the boards, competing against Diara inside the paint, and he's beat, winning that battle so far. There's Den going up for a big three, comes off the metal, and uh, the attempt to try and get his hand on the ball. Sibanioli, unfortunately, can't get the rebound, but it's been picked up by Jordan, they go again. Chance to uh, draw level, Suita going into the paint, that's uh, beautifully done, look at that for Tiara. Anywhere the ball comes off the rim, you have to put a body on him, is the reason he continues to just pick up rebounds and he can lean on his athleticism at any point. Tiara picks it up. Sibanioli tries to get us, not the hit perfect pass. Sam Keller races back to, to beat Suita to the ball. Katia Tiara charging through, goes up, gets the ball out. Sibanioli! Well, there's contact there by Tiara, foul by Tiara. Great work there, wonderful pass into the hands of that man, Sibanioli. That was a great dish from Tiara on the baseline, and he finds Sibanioli, who's trying to go up hard, and Tiara's head looked timely, but the contact was called, so he'll pick up the foul. And straight to the free throw line there for Sibanioni. Fast and furious. Asher, um, you know, this is, a, this is a very strong statement. This is from the Cape Town Tigers. The big question is, can they thread it right through until the end against this top-seeded team in the BAL this season? Well, speaking to them uh, before the game, they were determined. They say they think, they can, they believe they can beat Fusrabat. We've talked about Fusrabat being debutants here, but they come into this game as uh, the team that has the upper hand, looking at the way they played in the Kalahari Conference, but also on Friday. But with the Cape Town Tigers, the question is about the bench. Who can come off the bench to create impact here? Because we've seen that you need a good bench to at least thrive here in the playoffs. And there's, there are players like Manyang. We wait to see, you know, um, him have an impact, you know, off the bench because he's a player who can who can hit double figures, you know, on a on a normal day in the office. But he, he's a shooter straight up, and he gives them the ability to space the floor just a little bit. As you look at the the up top catch and the passing ability of Zoita, he has a connection with Tiara, with Tiara inside the paint, and those two have tangible chemistry when they touch the ball. Mohamed Silla coming on for Booster Abat, of course, uh, a wonderful player as well, fully capable of uh, playing an integral part in this 19 years of age from Senegal. We go up, it's Ken Brown for the big long-range shot, a rebound, another opportunity, it goes in, Tiara, oh, 
naturally in the scoring position, up to double figures they go. Cape Town Tigers only averaged 33.6 rebounds per game. That's last in the Basketball Africa League. The rebounding battle inside the paint is something that they have to pay attention to. Tenkelo goes high over the top. Picked up by Silla. Silla, big guy, of course. Jordan goes up for a big, long shot. Made safe there. Bridgeforth with the rebounds. Sibanioni hovering and waiting. And, uh, well, there's going to be a foul by Jordan on Cartier Diara. It's an interesting guard matchup. As you see, Diara and John Jordan, they're trying to figure out how to get coverage on Diara, but he does a good job of extracting a foul. And I think we're going to have our first time out. I love it. Why not? Who's there about 10, Cape Town Tigers 8. Yeah, welcome back to Kigali. Um, it's all about Ali Utiara so far. And uh, this is uh, what he's capable of doing, uh, Q. Eight points, and he's, it's all been rim attacking above the rim action, whether it's been on the alley hoop or just picking up extra second chance points. He is dynamic, he uses his length, he is athletic, and there's a lot of development that's been in his game and there's a lot to be excited about if you are a fan of Ali Udiara. Uh, so are you excited about Ali Udiara? Yeah, he is definitely a great player to watch, but uh, coming from Mali, it's not a surprise. Malian players always have their basics right, but also the physicality that he brings to this Fus Rabat side is comfortable at the moment, and you can see even with just that rebound. Yeah, absolutely. We love uh, the basketball side Malian, of course, coming from uh, Bamako capital of Mali. Wonderful. Um, a very athletic from so great is uh, just uh, back on that occasion, just treading over the line. Well, we saw the strategy being employed by the Cape Town Tigers in their group play against Fusra, but the use of the 2-3 zone to try and force Fusra Bad to shoot some threes. They don't like to shoot the three ball too often. They take the least amount of threes in the in the conference or in the BAL. So we'll see how they play this out on the offensive end. A little touch there just to knock the ball out. Out of bounds by Nui. Manyang's uh, come on, of course, as we can see, and Nui will be replaced by that man, Sofian Ben Mahid, who's got a bit of zip about him. There's no doubt about it. Ben Mahid gets 20 minutes a game, 6.2 points. He gives them something off the bench, and he is like a little bit of a spark plug for the team. Den goes up, Den goes up for a three. There's the attempt to tip it. Oh, that's nicely done. Look at that. That is what you want from your big Sibanioni doing the damage there. He has been up for the challenge and locked in. Again, he picks up his fourth rebound. That's his sixth point. That's six second uh, chance points there for the Tigers, who move ahead by a point. A little bit of contact there. Manyang on the wrist of Diara. Brown makes the feed inside, and three Cape Town Tigers defenders ascend, and Diara, who was able to draw the foul, Manyang will pick up that, that first foul. Deng making way, Dylan Whitbread coming on. They got a Diop on there as well, uh, of course, uh, Yaka Diop, the, uh, another Senegalese player. The young elevate player, uh, he, he will give them some additional size and they've got to continue to just see if they can pick up some extra rebounds inside. Well, he's currently marking uh, Mohamed Sela, of course, <laughs> the other uh, Senegalese giants. Nicely oh. done, put it in. That is just the way that you do it. We talked about his presence. There he is, for well, that, time. That is a poster time. That's all for everyone. Get up there, young man. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Wow, get in the way, Silla, but there is contact there just on Yakutyuk. It's all happening in the paint for the Senegalese Giants. <laughs> Very interesting that they're also best of friends off of the court. So um, them coming up against each other in this game is just beautiful to see. Well, there's no love lost on the, on the floor, but you know, they can uh, share a B-sap afterwards, can't they? Or some Ginga, you know, juice, of course. Yeah, right now it's uh, business for both of them.
they will play hard. That is the NBA Academy philosophy, and we've seen it from all the elevated players every time they get an opportunity on the floor. First break for Sibagnoni as Ridori comes in on the substitution. And uh, good shooting there from the free throw line. And this is Syed El Labouzidi, very experienced coach with uh, Fusta Rabat, of course. Ken Brown, El Dal Hawa Brown with a big long range shot. It's been picked up there. Silla goes again, this time back into that man, Tiara. Silla, oh, contact. Well, they're uh, again getting connected with each other, aren't they? In a big way, Yaka Diop with the foul. They, they're getting connected, but the nightmare on the board still continues for the Cape Town Tigers. That's excellent again, Silla. You, you see the joy from the work. He rewards himself for the hustle inside the paint. I think it's uh, Manyang who picks up the second foul rather than, uh, than Diop there on that occasion. Tiara's got the other one. Only the third team foul for the Cape Town Tigers. First, they're up at, they, they've committed five team fouls. Still missing the first, and uh, 2.46 left in this first quarter. And uh, we have Tembu is going to come on to replace uh, Yaka Diop. Listed at 205 is Mohamed Silla. 18 years old. He had eight points against Petro de Luanda. That was his best output for this team. Second is delivered perfectly. Fuster about one point lead. Whitbread leaves it for Tiara. Tempo going into position. Doy's there as well. Needs options. Oh, that's nicely done. Gets the ball back out. Doy going up for a two point Falls finally. Nicely done. His first points tonight. We saw him make a couple in yesterday in the first outing with the Cape Town Tigers. And inside the key, I think he's he's pretty good and pretty efficient on that catch and shoot. El Hawa, Ken Brown, 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 trying to deal with a big man and Doy. Cuts inside, shot clock down to eight. There it is, picked up. El Hawa, oh my word, Silla's perfectly placed to make sure that that is drained. They know how to make basketball a thing of beauty. The extra pass is just excellent as they open up and carve open the Cape Town Tigers defense. Oh, that's been uh, knocked out of the hands of Cartier Tiara. And there it goes. It's been put up. Well, it's not been drained, though. Nate's safe there by Tempu. They take the ball up. Oh, it's uh, kept in there by Cartier Tiara. A wild fling down, nearly out of bounds. Full contacts there by Whitbread on the uh, Lawa. That almost defi that main, sorry, defies explanation as the ball goes out of bounds. And the pass trying to find Diara. The turnover comes in, and now there will be a substitution on the floor as well. And there's, there's conversation between referees and players, and there's just a lot happening. Um, 141 left. In the first quarter. Silla, Silla drives through. Get out of there. That is fantastic from Indoy. Followed him for every single centimeter. Sam Kello, Sam Kello, picked up by Ntembu, looking for someone. He does find Indoy. Decides not to pass, gets it out into the corner. An opportunity for Sam Kello for two. Oh, just rattles, comes back out. Manager picks it up. He's getting his first uh, seconds on the floor. Indoy had four blocks in his debut for the Cape Town Tigers. He picks up his first run here. Nadja drops it in for Silla, Silla, Silla goes up. He is just unstoppable in the paint. He is beasting inside the paint and he's hurting the Cape Town Tigers inside that painted area. Up to seven he goes and it's the last minute we go. We've got a three point lead. Sam Kello, that's brilliant play. Oh, it's no contacts and he's been stopped there by Silla at the other end. Ben Maheen, Nadja. Nacho we use that big burly body of his to, to try and roll around. And that gets knocked out of bounds. It's going to be Tigers who get possession. I think they'll breathe a sigh of relief for the Cape Town Tigers. You have a look at the work here from Silla. And Ndoy says, access was not granted here, sir. And on the other side, Silla gets his own back. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the bigs are doing the damage. 
Joy going out just outside of the arc. It's uh, come back off the rim. Jordan holds it. And the final seconds of this first quarter. Fuster about looking to try and extend their three-point lead. Jordan goes up, floats one over the top. Doesn't fall. It's there for the taking. Nine seconds. Dang, dang, dang. And there's a foul there by Hauer. He goes to the free throw line because we're at five fouls. Yeah, he, he didn't quite read the, the situation well, did Al Howard. He thought there was 14 fouls and was just trying to get the foul in and slow it down and force them to get an inbound, but instead, Deng will go to the free throw line. He's misreading the situation. And that leaves 6.3 seconds on the clock before we wrap up the first quarter of the second quarter final of the Basketball Africa League. Season four here in Kigali. This is the first. We'll want to get the second. Den was impressive in his debut for the Cape Town Tigers. First time that he get the opportunity to play in the playoffs for a team that has helped qualify yeah. in two the Basketball Africa League. Gets his first points. Five seconds to go. Is uh, El Hawa Nadja? He doesn't get the shot, and that's too late. Well, that's just too late. I think we rec we saw that it was uh, touched when the clock was down to zero. Uh, he tried to float it up, and it comes off the rim, and he doesn't get that off in time. The first floater had gone would have been good, but I think that that should not count. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. They're going to check because they have to check, which is normal. OK, there's clarification, Asha. Yeah, yeah uh, seven not a basket. Thank you, Usher. 17 points booster, about 15 Cape Town Tigers. Time for a small break. Yeah, welcome back to the K uh, Kigali BK Arena. This is um, an interesting little first quarter to understand where we're going with this. The Fuster Abada being held by the Cape Town Tigers. It's a two point lead, but um, an interesting tussle so far. And the young six. Six footers are having an absolute dream time out here today. Well, it, it really is about controlling the paint, and both teams have got 16 rebounds apiece. It's six offensive rebounds to seven, and that, that has been a theme throughout that. And also, how well Fus Robert can handle the Cape Town Tiger zone, I think, will be a narrative throughout the second quarter. Asha, we're coming to you. Yeah, Coach uh, El Bozidi just uh, concerned about the ball movement. He wants uh, Fusrabat to just keep passing that ball. They have, of course, 24 seconds on every ball possession, but just really run down that clock and get their favorite and best sport to shoot. Katia Diara unable to get his shots in from down in the corner near the baseline. Chance for them to draw level, but it's Ben Mahin who picks up possession. Fusrabat love to pass the ball, like you said, Usher. Very happy and comfortable playing with each other, knowing where they are. That's been intercepted by Sam Kello. Nicely done. Katia Diara to his right. He goes up, and that is sent sumptuous touch there. He's got such a silky hand touch, hasn't he, with the ball when he's going, driving high into the sky. When he goes downhill, he's one of the most exciting players in the Basketball Africa League. He gets up, and very little you can do. You might as well clear out the lane. Yeah, and he puts in the, the hard work and the hard hours to make sure that that uh, happens on game day. Here we go, Silla, round Sibanyoni. How quick was that swivel maneuver? What fundamental footwork, fantastic there from Mahanda Mohamed Silla. Well, that's nine points for the teenage sensation. Is having a great day out there for Fusrabat. Are you having a great day out here, um, Asha? Yes, absolutely. Just <laughs> like you, huh? Oh, yeah. Big time. Look at this. Oh, put it in. Sam Callo enjoying the big time scores happening there. That's uh, great work for him. He's up to eight. Yeah, he's definitely locked in. Oh, there's a turnover. They've managed to pinch the ball back down. Eyes it up, hits the three, and they move three point ahead. Well, that's ideal. You force a turnover, you get a wide open shot, a sharp shooter knocks it down, and there's a timeout called on the floor. And that's what it's all about. We see so much of this 
fast and furious action taking place. More to come after this small break. Fuster Abbas, 19, Cape Town Tigers, 22. The claws have been sharpened by the Tigers today. Um, and they have, uh, it's 8.23 left in the first half. Mohamed Silla is having a fantastic game. Seven rebounds with those nine points. He is absolutely leading the way here in the front court for Fuster Abbas. Asha, we need to come over to you. You've got news coming, breaking news every day. Breaking news from uh, the court side here for the Cape Town Tigers. Coach Nguenya obviously is concerned about uh, the defense. He wants them to put pressure on the guards so that they don't, you know, play make and force the ball into the paint. Hey, that's a traveling call, you know, by Sweetie. He just lost, took his eye off the ball momentarily, and there was a little bit of a, you know, a, a fumble there. And that's, they're the little signs of, from Booster Rabat that can go against them. But, uh, you know, when Ali Diara is on the bench, it's normal that they don't score uh, many points. Well, Silla is playing fantastic basketball. Like Diara to just get a little bit of a breather in. Diara's on eight, Silla's on nine. Sam Kello's on, uh, well, that's a foul. That is uh, Ken Brown on that man, Deng, who goes down. And they will get uh, the chance to. I think shoot, he's in the paint, so yes, he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, giving up about 15 centimeters it allows Deng to try and work the mismatch inside. You don't see him go back to the basket too often, do Deng? He likes to attack face up, but he does draw the foul and he gets a chance to go back there to the free throw line. Yeah, but he does he does have that capacity to go on, go on the zip line into the paint and, and score very quick points. He absolutely does. It, it is that quick. It, it looks like he's just jettisoning in. Jets are singing. How do you say? I can't even say that. Try and say that three times, Asha, please. <laughs> Go on, try it. Live, live on the broadcast. Well, to be honest, I'll say it tomorrow. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you're just not a risk taker. I love it. Absolutely. Cowards live longer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. Oh, that's a great score as well. And have a guess who scored it. I, I, I don't know. Tell me. Oh, I think it might just be that man, Silla. It's a double figure as he goes. Tiara. Enjoy, enjoy the giant. Decides to get the ball to Deng. Back out, mid range two. He scores from there, doesn't manage to get it. Sivagnoni does well. Goes up himself. Another chance. Oh! Contacts to eat uh, on Sivagnoni. How many opportunities did they get on that occasion? Normally, that defense is, is you know, is super tight. Well, he is hustling hard inside the paint. Now you see why he earned that board man nickname. He just and knows how to attack the glass. It's like the ball is attached to a magnet, and it's, those hands are the magnet. Grapple hooks, I think we should call them. He's the man with grapple hook hands. Come on, Asha, you can work on this. <laughs> I'm not going to be part of this, guys. Oh, Please. you always come on. Don't be shy. <laughs> Well, let's have a look at the replay anyway. This is uh, this is Silla going under and over the top. A wonderful pass there, the little, you know, in the basket pass there from Jordan. And the athleticism, you know, it's a difficult place to be when you're underneath the rim and you're trying to take the pass and find a way up. All right, he's been sublime as Silla. He's picked his moments and has been good with his decision making. Bit of press taking place, that's a great work, great try. Ben Mahin scoring a, an important two there. You see him utilizing his speed to blow by the defense and pick up a score. Dang races up into enemy territory. Charge going through, Sam Kello gets another chance off the glass. No! Dropping in to say, here we go, double figures for Sam Kello. Fus Rabat might have to figure out the rebounding conundrum because Cape Town Tigers are picking up second chance points, but they hustle inside the paint. Ben Mahin to the corner. Ali Utiara is back on. Jordan, Jordan weaving. Full back two for that man, Jordan. And so far, this has been a free flowing game there. Maybe we saw a little bit earlier between two allies, a lot more defense being shown, but the team's here just free flowing and the offense working. Look at Dang, he goes up, that's great. Well, how about that? He deals with Diara beautifully as well. I don't know how he managed to get that in there, but that's a great score from Dio Dang. He's flung out to Zuita, Zuita baseline. Good pass to Diara. And it looks like Sam Keller will get the foul on Diara. 
First bell, 5.53 left to play in this first half. I think Saruta might be one of the best passing bigs in the Basketball African League. That is on a dive to find the uh, inside the paint. Uh, again, height mismatch. Stella has no, no, no choice but to foul and it'll send that man Diara to the free throw line. And a timeout has been called. It's Fusta Rabat 25, the Cape Town Tigers 27. Boston Wenya calling the timeout. The rebounding battle 18 19, uh, and that was one area where the Cape Town Tigers suffered against Fusta Rabat. Fusta have been arguably one of the best teams we've seen on display they're willing to make the extra pass all willing passes and when they play the, the game well there, there's a lot of team chemistry on display Mohamed Silla 11 <laughs> points nearly, nearly on the double double seven, seven rebounds fantastic eight points and four rebounds for Ali Udiara and Zorita has just got two Samuel Pele has got taken 12 shots for his 10 points and four boards and Sibagnoni six six and he's got four assists no, it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, they're, they're, they're present in the quarterfinals, and that's really important as we see. You know, Silla just working his magic in the paint. Super strong to deal with Sibanioni. Lovely little twist and turn to get himself an important uh, score there. 11 points for the 19-year-old who is just on fire, on fuego. Well, if you have a look at the work that it did, that's how you create excitement around the player, and that's why scouts get excited and coaches get excited. And, and... Uh, and award-winning journalists get excited oh, they too. Do. <laughs> I see what you're doing there, but thank you. Um, there's uh, so much concern around uh, Aliu Diara and uh, Sila scoring 19 of Fus Rabat's 25 points here. Coach Nguenya wants uh, the Cape Town Tigers to continue to play good defense in there in the paint. Sibanyoni, obviously, and Manyang with that role. And whether they can execute will be interesting for the remaining minutes of uh, this quarter. Well, Sibanioni was having a few, you know, we saw that how he got, he got, he got turned inside out on the last occasion by Silla, uh, just with the speed. But sibanioni has been effective in his own way as well. Yes, he has. He's held his own in that battle. And you know what a fan I am of bigs battling inside the paint. Moves into position. There's Ali Tiara, and he's uh, trying to find a little bit of space. Cartier Tiara. Sam Kello deals with Ben Mahin, tries to get himself untangled, goes down, and look at the, this, is, this is a team performance, the racing are over to try and, you know, haul that man Sam Kello back up onto his feet, and like the... I like what they do in the Cape Town Tigers, and I like the way they're playing together as a unit. They, they've been ultra-aggressive, so what they've done in the last 15 minutes has been able to get to the free-throw line. What they've not been doing at the free-throw line has been converting. They're shooting 6 of 14 at 42%. They've left 8 points at the free-throw line so far. They've got to up that conversion rate because that that is literally, as it states, it's a free throw. There's no defense. It's an opportunity to, to extend the lead. And now, sure, we've got three three fouls already for Fusta Rabat with 5.35. So they've got to keep an eye on that as well because they're, they're, they are causing problems with Sam Kello and Sibanioni, causing all sorts of nonsense inside of the paint. Yeah, that's uh, the strategy from uh, Coach Nguenya. He's playing small ball. You can see that the guards on the floor, all of them have the ability to drive into that paint and attract the fouls from this Fusrabat team, but also could put players like Aliu Diara, Zwita and Silla in trouble early on in the game. Well, there's uh, Diara, you're not going to stop him from there. He got himself into that very dangerous position, but great vision to get the pass up there. All right, anytime he catches it close to the rim, you might as well just count the bucket. Done deal, right? One Done point deal. game. 5.15, Diara bounces it into the path of uh, San Kello. Tries to go up. There's the battle. Now he picks it up, Jordan. Moving out of the position, Tiara's up there already. Sibanyoni needs to chase. Oh, he does well to keep hold of that, Jordan. Jordan driving into the paint. Where is his option? He doesn't have a good option there, but Tiara. Oh, wow, that was nearly a fantastic block there from Sibanyoni. Little bit of contact on Tiara, hence the reason why the whistle was blown. But they try to play over the Cape Town Tigers defense. Jordan, he lobs it up, and that's a great contest from Sibanyoni. He just falls a bit short, but it will force Tiara to go and earn it at the charity strike. And a chance for Fuster Abatia 
edge ahead once again. You get a feel and a sense for why Ali Diar are part of the OPL first team in 2023. Why there's a lot of excitement around his play. He's been averaging 16 points, eight rebounds, just over eight rebounds in 23 minutes of play. And has been used sparingly by coach Alpazidi. This is the first, gets the second. Here we are, 28 points apiece, 448 left in this first half. And uh, Cartier Tiara, Sibanioni, oh, nicely done. He uses his strength to deal with Tiara on that occasion. It's happening at both ends. Yeah, you might as well credit the pass. That was a nice find from Tiara. Excellent finish from Sibanioni. Flung out opportunity for Brown. Brown for three. Off the chop, made safe by Sam Kello. And a chance to extend that two-point lead. Yeah, and that's great work there from Jordan, just to hustle and win the ball back for Fuster Rabat. Just a couple of possessions there where some kind of they're trying to force the offense for the Tigers. This time, John Jordan gets his hand on it, and that's the second consecutive turnover for Pele. Brown. Brown, Nadja, uh, uh, Zuita, look at that, that pass from Brown, Zuita with the duck, that is a sensational score. A misquotation results in an open duck for Zuita. Rocket International, Zuita. Quality, Katia Diara drops it into the path, that's really smooth play, the link-up play there between Diara Sibanioni, top qualities up to double figures. Looks like they've got a little connection, some chemistry here, Diara and Sibagnoni. Ken Brown, Louis, Jordan, spit a swing ball, picked up by the big man, Suita, tries to roll around Manyang. Oh, nicely done, strength, and a high off the glass. When you make something so difficult look so easy, that is a high level of skill, and Suita, he just had options, and he took the scoring option and made it count. 26 points out of their 32 in the paint. Den going around, out wide, Sam Kello for three. Oh! Dropping it in for a corner three! Another great five. Sam Kello Pele up to 14 points. Oh, Ali Utiara, watch out, he's on a little bit of a run. He goes up, doesn't manage to get it, made safe by Simeone. Excellent contest. Sam Kello driving hard into out to Manyang, Manyang, and that's uh, picked up another opportunity, second chance. Oh, Simeone can't get his touch on it, doesn't get his range, man. He's normally really good at that. Well, the, the battle on the boards between Simeone and Tiara is so fascinating inside the paint. Back out, Brown, all the time in the world. Great score for Brown. If you can't do it, I can. Ken Brown knocks down a wide open three, ties this one up. Usher, um, good shooting percentages here today. Yeah, good shooting. Uh, and obviously, the standout man here is Samkelo Tele. He had 16 points in that game against Al Ahli Libya on Friday, but now already up to 14. Listen, that's just great perseverance from Sibanioni. He goes for the second rebound. That's a brilliant rebound for him. Ten points already. And because of that, Sibanioni's got eight, uh, 12 points and eight rebounds. I told you to bring your abacus. You forgot it in your bag. Who still uses an abacus? <laughs> Good point. Louis, all the time in the world, he goes up. Oh, hey, that's great defensive play from Sibanioni. They picked the ball up, made safe once again. Out wide, Katia Diara, Sam Kello, into the path. Maniac! Oh, wow, that's a foul. He falls down quite heavily there. Zuita grab pulling him back up, and uh, you go to the free throw line. We really are getting a good idea of Katia Diara's ability to pass the basketball. He's a willing passer, he's been putting the ball in the right spots and spaces and is making his team a lot better. That was a great pass to Maniac, and again, he was able to get the foul. Uh, he wanted a little bit more than that, but they got to go earn it there from the, from the charity side. Up top goes Maniang and Zuita. Says access is not going to be granted here. Go, go and earn it from the free throw line. He hasn't got any points yet, so this will be, you know, just uh, getting, the, getting rid of the hitch and getting himself into a good place so that they can actually... You know, so he can start to shoot some points. 
because we know he's fully capable of. 35 38, 121 left to play. He'll go for his second shot now, uh, having scored his first. I show this is. Um, I've been impressed with the Cape Town Tigers. We, we saw a little taste of the new Cape Town Tigers, if you like, you know, in the seeding game. This is. Um, they're, they're even better, they've raised their game even more. Yeah, they know that uh, this is uh, the business end of the tournament. You snooze, you lose, and you go home on the next flight. Familiar territory, though, for uh, the Tigers. They played in the quarterfinals before, as we know. Third time. Ken okay. Brown, nine seconds. Needs to get it back. Jordan is going to go for a shot. He's going to go try and go around. Cartier Diara flings it out. Three point seconds left to go. Oh, wow! Time. Kim Brown in the win over Al Ahly Egypt lit it up from the perimeter and he continues to shoot the ball well for Fus Rubber. Up to six points for him. Is Dan trying to go around? Tiara, that is brilliant. And there was contact from Silla because, well, he's so tall that he's going to touch the rim at one point. Yeah. Uh, that's a nightmare coverage. That's skillful work. Yeah. For a second there, Deng says, excuse me, sir, let me cook you for a second. Three-point lead. Jordan driving into traffic. Manyan keep holding him at the... Uh, Deng keep holding him at bay. And uh, it looks like this. And who's uh, committed the foul on that occasion. And uh, it will mean that they will get the ball down in the corner. Sideline. Trying to reel in then and chop down that three point lead with 26.6 to play. A timeout looked like it's been called here. Coach Abuzidi calls the timeout. And with five team fouls, Cape Town Tigers picking up their third team foul. They, they definitely want to get an execution here rather than timeout. With 26.6 seconds left, the Cape Town Tigers holding on to their slender the three-point lead. And you just have a look at what, what Nkosanati Sibanyoni has been doing in that battle with Yara. This was a great sequence, but it did not result in a score. And my young getting two chances there on the inside. The, the board battle, he's got 11 rebounds and, and 12 points. He's already got a double-double, and Sibanyoni has been stand out. You talk about Silla and his work, you talk about the, the work that Yara's done, and Sibanyoni having a, an outstanding game in this must-win affair for both teams. 12-11, Sibanyoni, and uh, he's He's really stepped it up and, and, and decided, yeah, let's. I'm going to get engaged in this uh, in this warfare with Silla or whoever comes my way. But very present, and he's not holding back, which is great to see. Um, Usher, we would love to come over and get your thoughts and uh, and, and the, the information that may, you may have picked up from the Fus bench. Yeah, Fus Robert wants to continue to play, you know, put pressure on this uh, Cape Town Tigers side, but for this particular possession they want to see if they can score from uh, long range Jordan picks it up back out Brown's hit a three from in the corner he hits another one from downtown shooting the ball fantastically well that's his third connection from long range and he is locked in nine points for Brown and eight seconds to play we're all level at 41 is it the Tigers who will get the last word Dan gets it out there's Manyang 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 hits the three in the corner and that should be the end of this half. Wow, what a wonderful battle we're seeing here between the top-seeded Fuster Abad and Cape Town Tigers. Third time lucky, Manyang in the corner, finally finds his range, and he gives the K Cape Town Tigers a three-point lead. Back. And how unpredictable is season four of the Basketball yeah. Africa League? It's almost impossible to call a game, and each matchup just brings its just own dynamic. Oh, you can? <laughs> All right. You no, no, no. I'm feel kidding. free. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> listen, um, the... Uh, Usual suspects back out on the floor. We get busy again. Jordan to Ken Brown, and they get moving once again. Fusterabat trail by three. Silla, Jordan, Brown. Trying to push his teammates into space. Brown drops it into the path of Diara. Diara gets tangled up with Deng there. That might be his first foul. 
I don't think we've seen this combination of Silla and Diara come out for Coach Albuzini before. This is a, a little bit of an experiment, and he's trying to, to read the situation and go with the combination or, or the, the, the two players that have been playing the best, and it's interesting to see. Well, of course, uh, you know, they'll uh, understand each other quite well. Ken Brown. Look at the, the pressure. Pressure on everybody. Jordan for a three. Over the top it goes, picked up by Tiara, good rebound. Back to 14 on the shot clock. Brown picks it up, tries to go around Tiara. They're uh, under a lot of pressure. Oh, that was nearly a wonderful steal there from Deng. Well, they, they do a good job of blitzing and trapping and almost picking up a pass there in the passing lane, Pew Deng. There is the, one of the players who's uh, starting for Fuster Rabat. Three seconds, got to go for the shot. Jordan uh, on the edge. Oh, it's just coming off the metal. Who's picked it up? Well, it's Cartier Diara going around. Diara. Up it goes. Oh, my. That is sensational from Cartier Diara. Well, he's been trying to distribute the ball and pass, but he is also a capable scorer. And he gets the bucket to four. He goes right into the chest of that man, Kemp Brown, and he floats it up over Silla. Count the bucket. Hit to the line. And you see that the, the wings that were coming in towards him were very close, of course, from Silla. And uh, he just manages to, to deal and deliver. And a chance for them to extend their lead. They've got a five-point lead, can make it six here. And of course, that free throw line is where the Cape Town Tigers need to do a little bit better. That's 10 of 19. For them and force another turnover. Yeah, and this is, you know, the start of the, the second half, super important. And uh, flying out, I think Tigers have managed to maneuver and engineer some uh, good pressure on Fusta Rabat. And right that, from the start. Sorry, Asha, yeah, come out. That, that's exactly what uh, Coach Wenya wanted uh, Cartier to put pressure on Ken Brown. It's a, a matchup that we've uh, been seeing since the beginning of the game. The two players are more likely the same, but uh, Cartier right now with the, the good rhythm in this third quarter so far. Yeah, then they get possession back. Ken Brown getting the last touch. Diara has it. Uh, Ten seconds on the shot clock. Sankello has a shot that doesn't fall. Oh, Simanioni, look at that. The tussle, the hassle, and the hustle that is finally picked up there by Ben Mahin. Uh, he's locked in. No space to do anything. This is Bayeri. Flings it back in for Silla, comes back out. Who's got it? Picked up there by Sam Kellum. But you see the extra passes, they got a good look inside, they just don't get the finish on that possession. Sam Kellum step back, goes for two. Oh, how pretty was that? Going downhill, he pulls back just a little bit, gets to the top of the key for a comfortable wide open jump shot. And that is uh, 16 points for Samkelo Tele, which is exactly the number of points he had in uh, their last game against Al Ahli Libya on Friday. Knowledge is, knowledge is key, Asha. Knowledge is key, and power, maybe. <laughs> Bayri goes up for a fullback uh, two, and great work there by Silla. Second attempt. Yeah, there's a bit of contact as he goes down Ali Utiara. That's why this combination is so dangerous. You, if there is a miss, they will be likely to chase it down. You can see the hard work on the inside. It's a tough cover for both Ndoy and Simonioni. They're working hard, they're hustling and bustling, but the foul is called. There's a lot of contact between those players in the paint on that occasion. Simonioni got one foul. And uh, Zuita's picked up three, three fouls, by the way, so He's the only player on the, in this game who's got three fouls. Bayeri goes up, Sweeter will come back on it. Tiara's three of seven now from the free throw line in this contest. Tiara gets the second. 42-49. Still a bit down on his free throw percentage in terms of the... Uh, Cartier Diara down in the corner, conference play. Deng, Simanioni, opportunity. Doi flings it back out. Diara, Diara cuts in. Can he get the ball back? And Doi, well, he gets a chance. There's a, oh, they're queuing up to try and get their hands on it. That's good work from Simanioni. Shot clock is down to zero. And it will be Fuster Abadu regain possession.
good work that was from Fuster about just not allowing any of their players, despite the fact that Tiaru was there, despite the fact that uh, we also had Sibanioni. The Cayman Tigers have a real opportunity on a stop here to go up and above and extend, extend their lead. There's a lot of pressure on both teams here, and I think uh, there's going to be a coach's challenge. On the shot clock violation call. I mean, that's a, it's, it's a good call. Foster Glenio obviously is the, the coach who's, who's called this because he wants to find out whether or not they had the 14, they, 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 they get the 14 back or not. Yeah, he, he will challenge that. We've seen the coach challenge been utilized uh, quite a lot throughout conference play, and we've seen successful ones. We saw an unsuccessful one a little bit earlier from Coach Kirdani. Uh, well, uh, Pat O'Connell just confirmed the crew chief of uh, the officials here tonight that uh, it will not be challenged. It's not something that is legally possible. Legally. <laughs> are you going into legalities, are you? <laughs> Shall we right. No, I got into the Viva rules, of course. Thank you. She's probably a lawyer in a, you know, a part-time <laughs> lawyer in her spare time. In my sad life. Yeah, you probably study, you know. Oh, look at that. Knock it down. Brown for three. That is just sensational. He is just on fire. Up to 12 and another three-pointer. Yeah. Knock it down, Brown. That's exactly what he's been doing. Red hot shooting from Ken Brown. Good touch there, but uh, they can't regain possession there. Adoy looking, loses his uh, glasses. Oh, loss of possession. They get the ball back. And there's a long shot. Oh, wow! Ben Mahid for three. Back to back threes. And that's going to bring a timeout. A couple of big banks here for Fusra, and they storm right back into this one. Ben Mahid on the back of the shot from Ken Brown, and it's a one point game. Tigers lead by one. Take a break. Third quarter here, second quarter final of the Basketball Africa League. And the fourth season is very uh, tumultuous. There's so much going on. We got a one point lead for the Tigers. Fuster Rabat with back to back threes to chop down that lead. And we are just 16 minutes away from one of these teams leaving the Basketball Africa League season in season four. But we got the top ranked uh, top seeded team against the the lowest ranked team Tiara can't believe it but it goes against him apparently he goes down to ground well yeah. away from uh, that uh, offensive foul from uh, Cartier coach Nguenya wants the Cape Town Tigers to continue attacking the paint they scored 20 of their points in the first two quarters from attacking the paint and he wants them to not change a winning formula. Yeah, and we, we, we need to see a little bit more of that. Sam Kello hasn't had the chance to get that ball and just go on one of those wonderful drives, but they need to get fast break points as well, which is something that they did before. Silla going for two. That is brilliant from him, and he moves that to, what, 15 points now? 13, sorry. But that's another great pass from that man, Zorita. He picks up his sixth assist, and he just has the knack of finding the bigs around him inside the paint. 28 points in the paints, and the booster about move ahead by a point. All loss of possession here. Ben Mahi picks it up. Opportunity knocks. Tiara, oh, wow. Oh, look at that from Tiara. Cartier Tiara gets the ball out of the hands of the... Malian magician. That is unreal hands and awareness. He's able to come around the body of the back. He came yeah. around the back. How can you see that? <laughs> unreal. He uh, is, it is actually a Diara affair there. Aliu Diara, Katia Diara, Malians showcasing uh, their best here at the BAL. Wow. That is, that is just that, that is championship winning defense. It is. It definitely is. A 
think they it's the coach's challenge here because they can challenge that to find out who got the last touch. So, of course, it is going to be Saeed El Bouzidi to, to check that because well, it, it could result in something else. It could result in them just picking up possession. It's just, it's just the possession. Yes. No, it's actually, it is Ali Utiara who still, who, who touches the ball at the, at the end. So I guess that, that, that's what it looked like. It looked like it comes, comes off the, back off his wrist, I yep. think. What brilliant play defensively there from Katia Diara. Just four points today, but, you know, just how he's, how he's floor managed has been pretty impressive. Setting up the offense, controlling the tempo, trying to make the extra pass. It's not been all about point production. He has played a role in terms of just leadership on the floor. Uh, and he, he needs to stay on the floor for the Tigers because he is a, a floor general of the highest quality. But well, they've, they've been very disciplined as well. Sorry, Asha, coming over to you. Well, uh, the decision has been made and uh, it stays Cape Town ball. Yeah, just as we, uh, we thought from seeing the replay. Thank you, Asha. So it will be Manyang in possession. They'll be uh, coming up and trying to set up the Tigers and get them back into the lead. But Fuster Rabat will try and defend ferociously as per usual. Sam Kello. Sibagnoni goes up. Oh, it's been swatted away. He gets another chance. Oh, it's swatted away again. It's hard living inside the paint against two really athletic defenders. Ben Mahina. Picks up by Sivanioni, makes it safe at the back. Deng, Sam Kello, look at that for a spin, does really well. Flies it back out, Deng for three. And it's been made safe by Aliou Diara this time. Yeah, they did a good job of getting an open look for Deng. He just kind of knocked open, or knocked down their wide open shot. Five, oh, it's flung back. Oh, he does really well, Alu Tiara. Oh, he's gone over the top of uh, Silla, who normally would easily catch anything any, at any height in the sky. Uh, and the reaction from Ben Mahino was wide open to the left, was even more priceless. Uh, and that's sometimes the decision making. Alu Tiara trying to find the, uh, the closer range shot. The long range sniper was asking for the ball on the outside, and the turnover is what makes it more frustrating. It's a little, there's a little bit of nervous tension in the air, Asher, I get the impression. It is uh, very nervous, but uh, it was actually kudos to Coach Wenya there who asked uh, the guards to put pressure on the ball and it survived. Oh, three points for Dang. He moves up to 12. He is a streaky shooter. If he gets it going, beware. He'll come down and knock down a couple more. Ben Mahina, back out, Ken Brown. Brown cuts in, gets it out wide, Sweeter picks it up, trying to go past Sam Kello. Oh, there's traffic there, there's traffic. Oh, he does so well, Silla. That's a scoring touch there, up to 15 he goes, and leading the boards once again. It's his athleticism, his length is able to just get up and over the defense and finish his close range. 21 of 47, 19 of 48. 45% Deng goes again! It doesn't fall, it's been safely rebounded, picked up by Silla. Silla gets it out wide, that's nicely done, great delivery. Look at that assist there, into the hands of the ever-dangerous Ben Mahin. And again, you're seeing the use of a 2-3 zone effectively here, the foul and the contact there on the side, but the missed shot allows transition opportunity and it's an easy finish for, for Ben Mahin. Now, if you live or die by the shot against the zone, it, these are the kind of weaknesses and, and, and opportunities you give up as they go up and inside there for Robert. 54-52, Sam Kello makes way, and on will come Muffelkang. Dylan Whitbread as well, lots of changes, Sweeter goes off. And uh, we can also see Ayub Nuhi. Four fouls for Zuita, and that's the reason why he's gone to the bench, uh, Asha, which is uh, an issue because he's one of the starting five players for Foos. Of course, uh, it's a great scouting report there for the Cape Town Tigers. They know Zuita is very dangerous in the paint. He also gives them 
great size there. So to take him out this early in the third quarter is important for the Tigers. Listen, that's great work from Simagnoli just to fight for that rebound. He gets hold of it and then he gets fouled. So he is playing with some poise, patience and aggression and picking the right moments to utilize any one of those three traits. Uh, he, he fakes Silla, gets him in the air and he draws the foul. It is uh, his 14th rebound here. And what a night for the birthday boy who celebrated on Friday. Second foul for Silla on that occasion. Yeah, it's, uh, well, the birthday celebrations could potentially come. This is double-double, four assists, 15 rebounds now in 12 points. Um, it will come if they, if they can get through this encounter, I think, right? I think it will come if that happens, but we've got so much basketball to get through. Back to the free throw line, Sibanioni looking to try and extend that 12-point tally. They misses both, then they go under 50% from the free throw line, the Cape Town Tigers. Could have drawn level, now it's up to Fuster Abad. Ken Brown with uh, the hot hands. Gets it into Aliou Diara, Diara goes high. Little flick, little attempt, Silla, Silla, oh my word, that's great defensive play. They get the ball back though, Ben Mahin. Shot clock down to seven seconds. And uh, Mofo Kang will pick up the foul on that occasion. The fourth team foul, their first foul from Mofo Kang, trying to get into the space of Ben Mahin. Possession back in the hands of Ken Brown. Elio Tiara, Marlian, marvellous Marlian, magician. Ken Brown finds his space. Nui down into the corner, there's a long shot going in. Oh! That is just incredible. And that's a four-point play, it looks like, potentially. You see, when the ball moves, so first about to find the shot in the corner, into the body goes with Bray then. Maybe a little bit of extra selling, but the referees have bought the sale. And that's a big shot nonetheless from Ben Mahini. He goes up to 10 points. And a five-point lead for Fuster. About 3.14 left in the third. They got a chance to extend that as well by an extra point here. You see the work there and the battle on the boards between two athletes. Silla and Simonioni gets the block. The snapping crocodiles trying to get their hands <laughs> on the ball. It's wonderful to see. Twisted Turtles. Love it. <laughs> Diara. Whipred back out. Diara fling it out. Manyang, Manyang. Mofo Ken goes up. Off the glass. Sibanioni rebounds again. Dylan Whipred. An opportunity. It's just. Ah, there's a chance to get. Manyang does really well. Shot clock back to 14. Diara for three. Oh! He loves it. The bazooka firing. Cartier Diara. That is some excellent hustle again. They reward themselves. They get the opportunity for an open three, and Cartier Diara knocks it down. But a lot of the work comes from Sibranioni in the paint, getting the rebounds. His rebound count is ridiculous. Ken Brown, he does it. Not on this occasion, though. 12 Seven points couldn't extend. 17 rebounds now for Sibranioni. Back out. Maniang, Maniang. Maniang for three! Wow! <laughs> This is sensational long-range shooting from the Tigers. Well, that time, Manyang says it with his chest, and he knocks down a very big-time shot. Cool under pressure. Move ahead by one. Ken Brown. Silla. Outside, they're looking very strong, very dynamic. Cape Town Tigers. Nui looking to help Fuster up at. Try and get some points, and they do. That's a good charge through the paint there from Nui. Yeah, that is a fantastic drive. You'll know, pick this moment, nothing the defense could do. He, when he turned on the afterburners, he made it look easy. And a back ahead, the leap changes once again. This tussle is just incredible. Cartier Diara doesn't go for the points. Manyang, oh, Manyang just has it come back off the metal, made safe by Ben Mahin. If that pass had gone directly to ahead, it might have been a little bit more interesting. Uh, they had to collect, and the contest came out, forcing the miss. Keeping an eye on the battle of the bigs in the paint. Ben Mahini loses possession. Now it's three against one. Surely this is going to be Manyang. Oh, wow. Foul, and that's uh, 
Whitbread goes up. They had a three-prong trident going for the kill on that occasion, but they couldn't manage to get the points, but there is contact. He tries to hang in the air and almost pull the contact. I think the foul comes in there on Ben Mahim on the re on the offensive rebound there for Dylan Whitbread. Whitbread claiming that he should have shots, but it's uh, it's going to be from the sideline. Only got three team fouls as we see uh, Brown there on the bench. He'll get just a bit of a breather, <laughs> just a minute out. He'll probably be right back in in the fourth quarter. Usher, do you need a breather? No, absolutely. Do you need one? No, I'm good. <laughs> Fired up, ready to rock. Here we go, Diara down, out wide. Sankello back on, they probably need him. With Brett down into the corner, Manyang. Manyang puts him three from the corner, big time. He comes to life now, Manyang connects another three from the corner. It's an important shot, gives them a two-point lead. Double figures for Manyang, the fourth player to hit double figures. He's up to 11 points now, the player from South Sudan. Yeah, he had 20 points on five of seven from long range against Petro de Luanda in that win. And when he gets it going, you get the feeling that he's the difficult man to stop. Two-point lead for the Tigers, 47.5 left in the third. Look at that, Silla's up to 15 points, 10 rebounds, four assists. And knew he goes up, get out of there! That is a big statement from Ndoy. What's happening? It's all happening. It's madness here, I love it. Block party right there as Ndoy gets into the party of that man, Nui, and get that out of here. Ndoy uh, providing that uh, defensive cover for the Cape Town Tigers has been massive today in that paint. Here we go, shot clock down to three, got to get the shot in, not getting the shot in. It's Sam Keller who takes it up. Opportunity here, is he going to turn, spin, go into his stuff? Oh, oh my, my, oh my, Sam Kelly, magic! Going downhill, he has so many options in that bag of tricks and he finishes with the right hand. Four point lead, Fusta Robot, Jordan here. Azuka's come on, hasn't had much time on the floor today, Jordan in possession. Being clamped, four seconds to go, needs to get a shot in. Oh, it's, they're not going to get the shot in. It does go up. It doesn't go in, though. Four points it is. Tigers lead going into the fourth quarter. What a furious battle with these two teams from opposite ends of the African continent we have here today. We will take a break and a breather. Fourth quarter about to start. A lot of chit-chatting and, 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 and advice passing on information and stuff like that. Sam Kello has been absolutely on the money today. 18 points. And this man here has been outstanding as well. Elio Tiara, 12 points. Silla has been up firing with 15. Ken Brown with with three pointers. I mean, what else can we ask for in terms of a quarter final? There, there's nothing more you can ask for now. It comes down to the final 10 minutes. Uh, one of these teams is, is going home after these final 10. Opportunity to try and get points. And Joy comes to the fall. That's his second bucket that he scored today. Mid-range game has shown up. And Joy, he's got a high efficiency when it comes to making some of those shots. And he's going to try and Keep an eye on that man, Ali Tiara. Jordan going down into the corner. Brown swings it out. Here he is, loads of time to try and get a shot in. Adoy picks it up, and there's a tangled mess there between Manyang and Ali Tiara. And Manyang might pick up his third foul. Asha. Yes. We love to hear from you. <laughs> you tell us so many different stories and things. It's great. Well, I can tell you who is not in the mood for stories right now. Coach uh, Saeed El Bouzidi is not amused that uh, the Cape Town Tigers have been able to pick up 18 offensive rebounds. He thinks that uh, his team needs to box out, and with Zwita back on the floor, that gives him some size to match up against Ndoy, who is also dealing with uh, Alu Diara in that paint. Not an easy job, right? <laughs> Not an easy job. Maybe for Q. Oh, Q, oh, he's, he would love to get back on the floor, wouldn't he? I told come you. On, Q, come on, Q. Come out of retirement. Come out of retirement, Q. Come on, Q. Everybody wants it. Everyone in South Africa. I've retired. <laughs>
33.6 rebounds <laughs> is what the Cape Town Tigers averaged. I told you as the, the, the last place team in the Sahara Conference, in, 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 in the BAL in terms of their rebounding. And here they are already up at 36. They've done a fantastic job on the boards in this quarterfinal. I'm going to put a lid on my chuckling. Finished. Tiara out wide. Manyang. Manyang flings it back out. Deng. Deng's got 12 points, but uh, putting in a good shift. Is Tiara charging right through? Unable to get that, it's Sendoy who's battling for it. They don't manage to score. Tigers with a five-point lead is flung back. To you. Oh, <laughs> that's it, big time! Woo! Man, Th that's just showtime. Wow. That is Air Alu Diara. Bring it on. 14 points. We are loving it. Three-point lead. Deng in possession. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Needs to always be... Knocked over there, there's contact, I think. Look at this, here. just look at it. Anyway, again, you talk about Sarita's assist. He just puts it in the right place. Boom! Bam! Smash. Well, Diara comes away with the possession. Tiara losing it down there. And these are the, the moments that you really got to be super meticulous. Detail now in the fourth quarter is going to be very important. Brown. Brown. Suita. Tries to go around Manyang. Like, well, done really well, Aliu Tiara, but it's been pinched. Or oh, has it? Or oh, has it? Look at that. Cartier Diara. Jump or call. Possession arrow is on the side of Fus Rabat. Well, there's uh, Simanioni is very much ready to come back on. Um, he wants to get back on and, and continue you know, his job, which he obviously feels is not completed. But uh, good hustling there from Diara. That, it, it's these 50-50 plays getting the bodies on the floor. It, it's, there are no excuses now for both teams. Your body on the line, we, you're going to have to do whatever it takes to pick up a win as far as both of these teams are concerned. There's been a change on the floor as uh, Sibagnoni comes back onto the court, replacing Manyang. Manyang, 11 points. Well, there's a foul. It's an offensive foul by Jordan on Deng. They had to make a call. They had to figure it out. And, and Deng went to ground. The call might have come a little bit late. And that is why you see some contestation here from Jordan. But uh, that was a strong move from Jordan. And he picks up a foul. It's his first. Bundles right through Deng. Here he is. To your deck. Looking for options, looking for players, looking for movement. Shot clock down to eight. Oh, nearly in. An opportunity. Sibagnoli steps out of bounds. He did amazingly well to pick up that rebound once again, Sibagnoli, but. You know, indecisive, and that's sometimes what aggression is good for. You don't, you don't think too much. You, as the second he hesitated, was the second the turnover happened on the floor. It's a, it's a, it's a very, it's a fra very frail environment. At this moment in the game, a couple of plays that haven't resulted in points. You know, it's, it's who's going to take their chances now? Moment. Nervy it is for both teams. Zuita tries to roll off Sibagnoni, and Sibagnoni. Moves into Zuita, he'll pick up his second foul. Zuita is very skillful. He, he uses his array of footwork, his understanding of the game, and is deceptively quick. You see how quickly he gets rubbed by Sibagnoni, who's still contesting the foul inside there, but the experience. So Zuita, with seven points, will head to the free throw line. Perfectly executed the first. Two points behind. Oh, sorry, I mean, you probably 
you see the faces of the coaches a little bit closer from your side of the, of the floor, but, uh, you know, it's uh, very, very tense. It is, it is very tense, but both coaches, Nguenya and El Buzidi, are calm coaches. They don't like to, you know, put pressure on the, on the players. They absorb it. Tiara dumps in a three. Right, he has something to say after that, Meg. He gets a lot of time and space, and that is cool as a cucumber, as they say. And, uh, <laughs> and he's uh, the fifth player in this Tigers team into double figures. Tiara gets rid of Sam Kello, tries to find some space. He he's just so strong. Masterful work from Tiara. Now the turnover. Well, they pick the ball up, Sam Kello. The tussle is, there's an opportunity here. But uh, Deng's down on the ground, the referee blows the whistle. Let's hope that that right shoulder is okay. He's not in a great place. Let's hope it's not dislocated. That is super painful if it is, but he fell awkwardly. Yeah, uh, it's uh, from that previous fall next to the Fusrabat bench. He kind of held onto his right shoulder, but uh, he kept on playing. And another look at that long range precision Cartier Diara style. And this is uh, oh yeah, you can see that Jordan does collapse on top of him, so it's the weight of him in an awkward position with his arm. Yeah, a legal contest for the ball. It's a 50-50 situation, and he comes out worse for wear. Yeah, dang, it hasn't been able to move, and looks like they're gonna stretcher him out of here. Yeah, the BAL doctors come on to uh, to, to to check along with the. Uh, the medics and uh, it'll just give the teams a little bit of time to to talk with their coaches and and work out the, the game plan more importantly let's hope that your thing is okay because the last thing you want is a uh, comes down hard on the shoulder yeah it just gets crushed a little bit by that by that leg of Jordan who's obviously you know uh,